Hey, hey, it's Tyler, owner and artist of Rehab to Fab Designs and content creator for Dixie Belle Paint Company. And today we're going to create a washed, distressed paint finish on this antique Cedar Lane chest. We started by sanding the whole piece down and stripping the finish off the bottom because, oh my God, look at those legs. Next up, I cleaned it with White Lightning from Dixie Belle and I decided on Caviar from Dixie Belle's Chalk Mineral line for a nice neutral finish. I applied the paint using my favorite synthetic brush from Dixie Belle, which is the angled mini brush. Creating a washed paint look looks really good on these old antique pieces like this. So what that means is you're going to kind of do a light brushing of paint over top of the existing wood finish, which will give you a peekaboo effect so that you can see the wood finish showing through underneath your paint. It gives it the look of old, worn paint. To create this look, you want to put a smaller amount of paint on your brush than you would if you were going for full coverage, obviously. And you're going to want to apply it with a light hand so that you're not putting the paint on too heavily. While also leaving, again, some of that original wood finish peeking through. If you look at the middle portion of the chest here, you can kind of see behind my arm where the paint's already starting to dry. And it's got kind of a light smoky black finish with again, some of that original wood tone showing through and that's the look we're going for. Once I get the paint onto my liking, I come back with a paper towel and use that to wipe back any excess paint and show that underlying wood. Now this particular paper towel is not my favorite because it actually has lines or grooves cut into it as a design. So it actually puts a little bit more uh, lines in my paint finish than I would like. However, it was the only paper towel I had out at the shop at the time. I would ideally use more of a Viva paper towel that does not have grooves in it. So it just wiped back in a smoother fashion but you know, working with what we have. So in order to cover up some of those lines, I simply came back with my paintbrush um, and a light amount of paint to just kind of paint over it and hide the lines that my paper towel created. No big deal. I continued this process on the front of this piece and on both sides. And I ended up deciding to go ahead and paint the back as well. The back of this piece was also the same um, wood veneer. And I almost left it the way it was, but then I decided, you know, somebody might want to use this as like a coffee table or centerpiece in a room. And if that's the case, I needed to paint the back as well. So that's what I did. Here's a little mini angle brush work in progress for you. This paintbrush is amazing for trim work and detailed work like this. Next up, I came in with a really fine grit sanding sponge from Surf Prep um, to give the whole thing a light sanding. The reason for doing this is so that I get an ultra smooth finish in my paint finish. Something like a 400 grit is what you want to use for um, getting an ultra smooth finish. Once you're done sanding, just wipe back any dust with a lint-free cloth. Oh, and my bad, I forgot until I saw this video that the back of this cabinet was actually not veneer. It was actually the cedar wood, the same cedar wood that's on the inside of this chest. And as you see here, it does have really pretty grain, um, but had seen better days. And again, this is why I decided to go ahead and paint it. You also can get a look at the hinges there. Um, super cute in theory, but they've seen better days as well. Have a little bit of rust on them, so we're going to fix those up as well. Again, once you finish with your paint, you're gonna come back with a paper towel, wipe off any excess, and then as needed, come back with your brush to add it where you need to uh, cover up any streaks from your paper towel. So here is a look at my rusty hinges. I came over these lightly with um, a 200 grit sandpaper just to knock off any rough edges. And I'm going to bring them back to life 
using gilding wax from Dixie Bell, and I'm going to use bronze because I think it matches the existing color or the original color of them, and it also complements the black very well. So gilding wax is an oil-based product and you don't really need to go back in and seal it because it will cure hard um, once it's had adequate time to dry. And I like to apply it just using a soft paper towel or a lint-free cloth. You can also use a small artist brush if you choose. Here you can see just how pretty they are after the wax was applied. Next up, I'm going to work on the legs. As I had mentioned previously, my husband stripped the finish off of these so that we could leave them natural. However, two of the legs had these two areas on them that had been repaired at some point. Um, and although they look good in shape, the color didn't quite match the rest of the legs, so I fixed those using Dixie Belle's Voodoo Gel Stain um, by applying two colors. I used Tobacco Road, which is a more warm brown, and then All Natural, which is just really a light natural tan color. So I used a sponge to apply one color and then went over it with the second color just until I got the about same color as the original wood finish. Here, I'm just using a paper towel to wipe off the excess stain that I got on the natural wood so it wouldn't be darker. As you can see here, it's not a perfect match, but it is much closer in shade than it was to begin with, so I'll take that as a win. To seal my chest, I decided to use wax. Um, the reason being, I love a good waxed piece of furniture. There is no other top coat that has the same feel as wax. It just gives you a really nice, buttery, soft, smooth finish, and that's what I wanted for this piece. Instead of using clear wax, however, I came in with black wax from Dixie Belle because I thought it would just give it a little bit more added depth to the black. So that's what I did. I'm applying it using a old piece of cloth from, I think it's actually an old pair of sweatpants from my little boy. And I just apply it to my rag and then rub it over top of the painted surface. And then I do like to come in usually with a circular motion to make sure I have it down in the grain well. Wax can be buffed to give it a little extra sheen. Um, however, if you like a more matte look, you're not gonna wanna come back and buff it so much, but you do wanna make sure you wipe off any excess because leaving it heavy in areas in excess can cause it to be kind of sticky or gummy. So do wipe back any excess. Here's a look at the inside of the cabinet. As you can see, really pretty cedar wood, which is what makes these things so great um, in aesthetics. But as you can see, the wood is kind of dry. So we're going to bring it back to life using Big Mama's Butter to rejuvenate, moisten, and protect the wood. This is a really great before and after shot. So you can see what the cedar wood looks like before the butter and then after. It has so much more color to it. It's rejuvenated, it looks great. It's also moisturized and protected. You can apply the butter using an old um, piece of cloth, same as wax, 
or if you want, um, I like to apply it using a sponge, which is what I'm doing here. Adding a little humor here and then also showing you again just how big and drastic a difference it is from the before and the after using the butter. Also important to note, the uh, butter comes in some amazing scents that will also make your piece smell really awesome. So that was pretty much it for the makeover on this piece, guys. Again, painting the outside in caviar, um, leaving some of, some of the um, underlying wood exposed so you could see it. I refreshed in the inside using butter. Um, I put a little gilding wax on the back hinges and then stripped the front and then repaired those two legs with a little bit of voodoo gel stain. Here's a couple of still shots of it once I finished up. Hope you guys loved it. Thanks for watching. For more videos like this, be sure and subscribe to the Dixie Bell and Rehab to Fab Designs channel. Leave any comments you have down below and turn on notifications to get notified when we post new content.